Hey guys, today we're going to make a custom Five Nights at Freddy's lunch, so let's get started. Today I'm using the Bob's Red Mill pizza crust recipe. This is one of my faves. So we'll start with one and one third cups warm water, one tablespoon of active dry yeast, and three tablespoons of olive oil. Next, I mixed in four cups of flour and one teaspoon of salt. I let the dough rest for about 10 minutes. Then I kneaded the dough for another 10 minutes. Next, I covered the dough and let it rise for about two hours. Then it was time to roll out the dough. Normally, we would make it into a round circle and put it on a pizza pan, but today I'm using 3D printed cookie cutters that look like Freddy Fazbear and we're doing it a little bit differently. I also made microphone shaped breadsticks. And since I didn't actually have a microphone cookie cutter, I had to use different pieces of cookie cutters from other sets. I put them together and cut them out. After everything was baked and cooled, I used some food coloring mixed with water to create an edible paint to paint Freddy. For those of you who are wondering, you can buy food coloring on Amazon or your local grocery store. It's basically a type of dye that you can eat and of course it's used in candies and cakes and pretty much everything that looks colorful has food coloring in it. And so that's what I'm using to paint the pizza crust. I also used edible food markers for some detail. That's right, they make pens that have food coloring in them. It makes it really easy to apply color to any of your food creations. And if you like making food art like me, this is something you'll have in the kitchen. I painted the microphone. And then I painted slices of mozzarella cheese to make them look more festive. I used a knife to cut them into strips for the pizzas.
Next, I started packing the lunch. I added my custom-made Freddy Fazbear pizza crusts. I added marinara sauce to a little side dish. I added the cheese slices I made and tiny little pepperoni slices for the toppings. I put the microphone breadsticks in the container at the top. Then I added vanilla pudding to a container and put star sprinkles on top. And that's it. That's how you create a Five Nights at Freddy's lunch. This is my favorite type of food art, making lunches. They're great for work. The best part is you can dip the microphone into the marinara sauce, and you can also use the microphones to spread the sauce on the pizza crust. Add the toppings, and there you have a custom Freddy Fazbear pizza pie. This is a great lunch to take to work. This is great for your kids or your grandkids. They are just a real crowd pleaser and they're fun. Food should be fun. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And now on to my next project. Now we're going to turn this little woodsy bear family into the Freddy Fazbear family from Five Nights at Freddy's. First, I gave all the bears larger eyes. I started with black because Freddy's eyes have a black outline. Next, I gave Freddy and his father, Freddy Sr., larger noses. I gave them all thick triangle eyebrows and whiskers. and outlined Freddy and his dad's mouth in black. Next, I gave them all blue eyes to match Freddy Fazbear's. And I gave the mom eyelashes because she's the only female in the family. I also gave her dark red lips. For Freddy's hat, I rolled and glued a piece of black felt into a tube shape. Then I cut it down to size. I then cut out a circle for the brim and glued them together. I also cut out a small bow tie and glued it onto my Freddy figure. You'll notice that Freddy is the only one in his family that wears a bow tie and a top hat because I wanted the rest of his family to be relatively normal and I wanted him to stand out. And that's it! That's how I made my Five Nights at Freddy's art doll family. I really love these figures and I love making these art dolls. And now we go to our next project. We're going to turn Spring Melody into Anna from Frozen. This is a miniature figure, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky, but I think I can do it. First, I painted her legs and face a light flesh color to match Anna's. I painted her hair orange. and I painted her back feet black for shoes. I 
I added a black top for her dress. And I outlined it in gold. Next, I painted her backside and hair ribbons green. For the skirt part of the dress, I used this green ribbon. I used a needle and thread to give it pleats and then I glued it onto the pony. I added some designs to the front of the dress. And I gave Anna a white stripe in her hair. And that's it. That's how I created a custom Anna art pony. Alright guys, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I love your comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. Let me know what you think down below and please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.